can't speak. It's called a data glove, which is wired with multiple sensors to track the hand movements. And there are sensors that measure how much your fingers are flexed and bent. And there are sensors here that measure exactly where your hand is in 3D space. And that information is being transferred to a computer chip right here. So it used to be you had to work at a big AI company or a big data company in order to harness technologies in AI. But now with there's so many open source algorithms or repositories of data that people have access to, they can actually create a lot of these technologies uh, themselves. Artificial intelligence in some ways has been getting better and better and then over recent years there's been this great increase in capability. It reads text out loud as it comes into view, like on an envelope, Ken Lawrence, P.O. Box, or a room entrance. Processing. Meet me at Starbucks. Ten pounds. For a lot of those tasks that you would typically either ask a friend to do for you or maybe use a paid app, you don't need to do that now because you know, you've got the empowerment and independence literally in your pocket on your smart device.